Even though fire has been around for as long as there's been an around, it's always been hard to control. Of course, we can easily start a fire, and often we're pretty good at extinguishing it. But as two college students discovered, when it comes to putting out a fire, it may just be all about that base. Many modern methods used to extinguish fire are not really so new. Whether fitting or not, we reach for water methods or suffocation, even sand. But innovative thinking is igniting new ways of putting out fires. In May of 2015, Seth Robertson and Viet Tran graduated from the engineering department at George Mason University after completing their senior project, which explored how fire could be extinguished effectively using sound waves. They call their experimental machine a wave extinguisher, and it looks like a gadget from a sci-fi thriller. They join us now from Massachusetts and Virginia. Well, thank you for joining us, Seth and Viet. Hi, Mo. Thanks, glad to be here. Can you describe in basic terms how it is that sound can extinguish fire? Fire, it oscillates at a certain frequency, and we're sort of matching that frequency in a destructive manner. It's kind of a replication of what we want a, a, you know, a fire extinguisher. Basically, what it does is it uses uh, low frequency sounds to put out small classes of fire. First, they experimented with high frequency sound, but that would only make the fire flicker. It was when they experimented with bass that they successfully extinguished the fire. We have a signal generator. We, it generates the signal, and then we pick that frequency that we like, and um, we just amplify it. There wasn't a whole lot of background research, so it kind of we kind of took an Edison approach to a lot of the things. We tried a lot of different options, and it took us time to figure out what didn't work to find out what did work. The wave extinguisher did work on an experimental fire in a 14-inch diameter pan. And they not only received necessary school credit for their work, their success has also fueled a fire of curiosity in them to pursue the research further and to explore the possible uses. This technology, I see it ubiquitously, where it would be in like kitchen stovetops and it would be in swarm robotics, it would be in uh, microgravity applications such as the International Space Station. We've made some new discoveries since, since we graduated from school that's, that's very interesting from an engineering standpoint and from a scientific standpoint. Well, Seth and Viet, thanks for joining me and good luck. Thanks for having us. Thank you.